Hello again from Winterly, Germany. Some of you might already know where I am. I'm again on top of the Große Aber, where I already shot a video a few weeks ago, but last time you didn't see this view. So there was a thick cloud cover all around, so visibility was maybe two, 300 meters, and it was very windy. So I focused mostly on some icy trees and did some more detail shots. But this time I have those views, so I want to get this in and I was already walking around a bit, trying some shots with a wide angle lens, but it's hard to get good shots with a blue sky, so there's no interest in the sky. So I already suspected this and brought the long lens also, because especially in winter, when the sun is low throughout the whole day, you have long shadows in the landscape, and especially when you have such trees, this looks nice and creates nice structures. And that's what I'm doing now. I'm zooming in a bit on the landscape, picking up uh, picking out some details and yet yeah, trying to get some photos of the landscape down there in the valley which is in the background this white patch with the trees and yeah this looks quite nice with a long lens so it's always good to have one and yeah I'm gonna walk around now a bit try to find some more photos and yeah also show you what I find but now I have to take the photo and get going. So I finally found a scene which is worth shooting with the wide angle lens. So you see here those again ice trees with thick cover of snow and I have some little ridge here in the foreground and then a wide view which looks nice and also in the background you have such soft clouds in the sky which are not perfect but better than nothing so it's not a clear blue sky anymore. I have some structure which I can use in the photo and yeah I gave it a try and also I have my tripod extended as far as possible because I didn't want to have the trees intersect with the horizon. So I wanted to have them just beneath the horizon. And yeah, for this reason, I have to be very careful and I've brought out the um, remote control. So I have no shake on the camera. But yeah, what I want to talk about is about filters. So I don't use any filters now, not even the GND filters because for such a clear or straight horizon it's much easier to just blend two photos and yeah that's not much work in Photoshop actually and also I don't use a polarizer so sometimes you might see that people use polarizer to bring out a deep blue sky so if you have a blue sky you use a polarizer and it gets very dark blue but if you're shooting 90 degrees to the sun you shouldn't use a polarizer with such a wide view because the polarization is not equal above the sky so you usually have some yeah, black area to one side and as you turn the polarizer it moves over the sky and yeah this doesn't look nice and it's much easier to just don't use the polarizer get a clean shot clean exposure for the sky and then do it in post polarizer is rather for situations which you can't fix in post and those are for example if you're shooting rivers or wet surfaces you remove the reflections there then you should use a polarizer also for waterfalls it's perfect on in the forest when it's wet but here on such a clear day there are no reflections I want to remove and using it on the sky makes it harder to do the processing afterwards because I'll have to clean up the sky and make it even again and I rather start with a evenly exposed sky and then darken it in post which is easy so that's just a quick tip use the polarizer when it's yeah when it's doing something good and yeah don't always use it which I was doing in the beginning polarizer I had it I had it every time on the camera and yeah this wasn't always good and I had to spend a lot of work in post to fix the issues which the polarizer caused okay so now take the photo and I move on
so I think I'm gonna end my vlog now. I'm here at the last viewpoint of the day. So I'm trying to photograph in this direction. So having this snowy hill, all the trees, and then this beautiful foreground here, which has some nice structures. So I've already set up here, taking a few photos, focus stacking as usual, foreground, middle ground, background. And now I'm just waiting a bit for the changing light, which fortunately happens. Uh, there are some clouds which have moved in uh, over the day and this looks very nice if you look in this direction. You have all those shadows and the white trees. So this should look nice and yeah, I'm just gonna stick around here a little longer, maybe one hour or so where the sun gets a little lower and maybe into the frame. But otherwise I think I already got a photo and yeah, I show this to you now and yeah, see you soon. Thank you.